Happy Mother's Day to all the mummies around the world. Welcome to another episode of Talk with Sonia. My name is Sonia and this is Jessica. Welcome guys. Thank you so much for waiting for this episode. You guys have been the best. You've been pushing me and I don't take your love for granted. So Jesse, say hello to everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> Tell them what you're here to talk about. Um, we're here to talk. You said you were here to talk about motherhood now. Yeah. <laughs> so today, this is the month of March and yeah. This is the month that we celebrate women. This is International Women's Month, Mother, International Women's Days in this month, and Mother's Day as well falls in this month. So I was like, okay, let's do something to celebrate women, to talk about the struggles that we go through as women, especially mother. <laughs> yeah, and still smile, especially motherhood. That's the hardest thing that a woman has to go through. So um, Jessica and I were here to answer five questions that you guys asked about motherhood over time. So guys, let's start the questions. um the kids my kids watching them grow being present your smile everything basically watching them grow that's the best part for me i'll say in the mornings my 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 daughter wakes me up with a smile everybody <laughs> <laughs> and she wakes up before me she goes mommy mommy and she's always happy and smiling and guess what when you have that your day can never go wrong man you just wake up knowing that someone loves you yeah like genuinely genuinely she's just happy to see you open your eyes and just smile back i mean it's the best feeling ever so the morning is with my baby girl <laughs> Okay, so motherhood has taught me to be hardworking, to be caring. I wasn't a caring person. So to be present, ah, to be present, that's it. So motherhood has taught me a lot, but I think those three is what I can think of right now. For me, I'll say, um, it just taught me that there's no limit to my strength. Motherhood has taught me that I am the strongest girl. And, like I didn't know that I had such strength. I yeah. could do anything, and when I mean anything, I'll do anything for my child. And I, there's so much because I don't have any help. There's so much I do for the house, for my baby, for myself, and all together with working and business, and it's a lot. And I could do everything on a normal day. Let me tell you something. I like to lie down and lounge. Anything Everyone that is not remote to work, I don't do. Any form of changing time. I'm the type of auntie that I play, oh, shmush, 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 and I give you your baby back. I don't, I don't like stress in my life. And so it was really tough for me to man up, should I say woman up, and own up to responsibilities. So motherhood taught me that I'm very strong. I, I'm stronger than what I give myself credit for. Motherhood, yeah, let me add this taught me how to be patient i'm a mm. very patient person I like just things that jeremy would do that i would want to yeah if someone else's child <laughs> yeah you well, just hold them by the ear and try to <laughs> you me how to be very present um very sorry that taught me how to be very patient. very patient yeah. and there is no limit like you said that taught me never to give up. There's no way I can give up now. Why are you giving up? To yeah, and then one child for life. Yeah, you can't so throw them away. I want more to, I think it yeah. taught me how to appreciate my mom more. Like I always loved and appreciated my mom, but it taught me how to have that extra. Like I love my mom so much right now because I'm like this woman oh, went no, through this for yeah. me. Ah, it's a lot. So there's this extra love and appreciation I have for my mom because of what I have experienced as a mother. So being a mother to me means um, sacrificing. You sacrifice everything for these kids, your time, your body, your your space, your everything. They come first. You have to put them first. You have to sacrifice every, even yourself. Not just yourself. You have to sacrifice yourself. Money. Money, everything. Any they come, type of expenses. Everything. They the come first. Come first. Yours, yeah. So being a mom means sacrificing to absolutely me. I, there's no other words to put it being a mom means giving up everything which everything. is the same as sacrificing mm -hmm. motherhood is should is should be synonymous to sacrifice in a dictionary seriously <laughs> yeah. it's a lot of sacrifice like your body can never be the same again some people lose the weight whatever whatever but your system 
inside mentality your 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 brain do, yeah. it doesn't function the same yeah even like i could say that okay let's say i i still have baby weight but um inside the other thing i was discussing with my other sister i said my balls the way it was before it's a little loose my bladder there's a lot of difference from the inside that's for the body parts then for your space <laughs> forget it you're in the toilet you're there <laughs> mommy, mommy. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. your food <laughs> Your time, the your money. money. You can't <laughs> buy shit. You want to buy you my hair, bone straight. How? Well, you, you, in fact, like I told my friend, I said I could go out and I could see a shoe I like for myself and I would turn my face away. But if I see a shoe I like for my daughter, best believe I am buying it. Mm -hmm. Just see how they come first. Your money, they're your priority. It's a lot they're of sacrifice. Priority everything normally maybe you sleep till 10 now you have to wake up at 5 you have to wake up during the night to, feed to them, feed them. if you're trying them. to um change them then if you're trying to what's the word potty train oh. potty train them it's a lot it's a lot it's a whole lot it's of sacrifice lot. so yeah i agree with you on that um, <laughs> <This is horrible. laughs> it's a very interesting question yes <laughs> um i would say my sleep so Absolutely. yeah you know how i used to be yeah i would sleep to like 12 p.m she should have won the sleeping competition <laughs> if there was one like i oh. love being comfortable i love resting but now they, it feels like they've taken away that from me and i don't get to sleep anymore um i don't get to sleep anymore i have to wake up early to prepare jeremy for school i have to cook before i would even rest my head i would hear mommy 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 so it took away my sleep deprived me it's depriving me from sleep like sometimes i have this mad headache i'm feeling depressed because i'm not having enough rest but yeah took that away from me and i would say some part of my body uh people would see me i'm like jessica you're beautiful yes i know i'm beautiful but i would say my boobs my boobs they, they they didn't remain the same after my children after breastfeeding yeah, after, after pregnancy yeah after breastfeeding pregnancy it's definitely it doesn't going to look, hang yeah it, it, does, hang. <laughs> it doesn't look the same and my belly i'll say the stretch marks there are some stretch marks that people assume they can take away like use any product but there are some stretch marks that are going to be there like child bed it's going know? to be it's going to fit it's, it's going, going to, to never go away yeah and the saggy skin that comes with the belly the belly can be flat but yeah, there's just extra extra skin, skin yeah i guess but i would love to have them back if i could reverse it your but, whole body yeah my whole body but it's worth it it's yeah, worth it if, I'm, if i think about it it's worth it because they mean everything to me and i can't even imagine my life without them yeah 100 percent mm -hmm. physical for my body i don't know i don't feel good about how i look anymore i just could say my boobs are <laughs> they're sagging they're, they're sagging they're hanging and <laughs> I, I, I just can't <laughs> i don't even want to give myself that i only have one child man if i have the touch child what's going to happen um, it will be as flat as the slippers do you understand like i don't even know so it really it, it has really affected my confidence and that's it has affected my body how i relate to myself how i think about myself it's affected my mental health i always feel like i'm not good enough i have i'm always insecure i feel bad about my body but i feel bad about how i look and you know it's not just you right yeah no. it's something that like comes with motherhood just for a lot of women for yeah. a lot of women no matter how hot you think someone looks mm -hmm. like for me no matter how hot i look or someone, or say someone you says look. i look I, there's just this insecurity yeah. i just feel insecure but yeah there's just this insecurity that comes with motherhood for some women yeah most women yeah and most it really times affects your mental health yeah. yeah so that i think that's that's it for me um mamas do not lose yourself do not lose yourself because of your children always make out time for yourself do the things you need to do if it really takes you two hours to do anything and now you have kids you can make it 20 minutes you can make it 30 minutes there's no excuse do not lose yourself because of these children because they will grow up and they will leave you alone yeah. please do not lose yourself because of them that's my advice for me i say don't make it your retirement plan just always like know that there's a possibility that if i spend all my money on this child that there's no way you know, she will repay me in the way I think. Don't think that, oh, I'll spend all my money, your child will buy me a Range Rover in the future. No. If you want to buy something from yourself, 
buy the luxury now go on that vacation go on that holiday i know that okay now that you have kids your expenses your your expenses has doubled and your spending money is your money your income is still thin so what i'll say is normally if you take you two months to save up for a vacation or for that bone straight let it even if it's eight months or a year that it will take you to save it save that money and go on that vacation buy that hair mm -hmm. do something for yourself make sure you do it for yourself and with that still save still have savings and a retirement plan don't just depend on the kids and still take care of you yes and another advice is a lot of women after giving birth they feel too comfortable around their husbands yeah. please let's look good for our our, our men yeah when they expect us to look good and we expect them to look good yeah, as well no matter how many kids mm -hmm. you have a man is expecting you to still look sexy yes and look good so because please put in this the is not just you anymore they are your partner you have yeah. to please your partner yeah you, you are not just a mommy you're yeah. a wife you are, you are somebody you are somebody's honey. baby <laughs> baby <and boo. laughs> yeah so no one is saying you should buy um you must have um designers or wigs or makeup to look good yeah. no take care of yourself make sure your hair is which your type of income yeah, yeah it's your type of comb if your it's hair k hair you can no, buy no forget Right. Buying of hair now, yeah. your natural hair, yeah. comb it, Make brush it. your teeth, yeah. oh, wear brush nice, your mouth, pick up like big up yourself. We have bra, don't, we have good yeah, bra. don't let yourself yeah. down. I know it's it could be uncomfortable sometimes, but please put in the effort. Put in the effort. It's very good. important. It's very very important to very avoid important. another story. Exactly. And see finish, please. Exactly. Yeah? We all know how it is. There's a lot of see finish mm -hmm. in marriage. Let's, Let's be honest with ourselves. This man can see us finish easily. Mm -hmm. So let's not give them more reason not for the men. same finish we to come. See them no, yeah, yeah. I'm no, I'm talking to mothers. Yes. The men are not here. So let's not yeah. give them enough reason to see us and finish. Please. Like, having past. a child does not stop you from looking good. Yeah. Nobody saying you should wear clothes or do all those many many. Just look good. Take yeah. off your scalp. Smell your skin. good. Smell good. Smell delicious. Like I want to be around you and I want to yeah. bite your hands and eat you. Yeah. <laughs> It's alright, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, guys. So, yeah, as a, look good. Yeah. Do not lose yourself. Yeah, that's it. Happy Mother's Day to all the mummies around the world. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We love you, mummies. You guys are special. You can do this. You are beautiful. You are you amazing. Got this. You are strong. Good job, Go, mama. mama. Go, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a very special ep episode for me because the best thing about about my life right now is being a mommy. Mother, yeah. So thank you guys. I hope you please subscribe. Please like. like, comment, and share. There's one or two mommies, even 10 mommies that need to watch this video. Please share it to them. Guys, I'm going to be dropping a new video soon. On no Jessica. free publicity. Like, no free publicity. Watch out, guys. We love you. <laughs>